British Prime Minister David Cameron said that the promises he made about granting more powers to Scotland would be honored, and he added that parts of the UK, such as Wales and Northern Ireland, may also get the same. CCTV's Catherine Drew gives us this report from London. After what must have been an anxious night for the British leader, he emerged early Friday to welcome the result. The people of Scotland have spoken, and it is a clear result. They have kept our country of four nations together. And like millions of other people, I am delighted. The British leader has promised a new devolution agreement for all people of the United Kingdom will be delivered by his government. The victory for the No campaign owes a huge vote of thanks to one man, and it's not David Cameron. And what we have built together by sacrificing and sharing let no narrow nationalism split asunder ever. Former Labour Prime Minister Gordon Brown was drafted in at the last minute to energise the no vote against the fast-growing yes campaign which wanted independence. It was such a lacklustre campaign and if Gordon Brown hadn't suddenly stepped up to the podium in the last two or three weeks with these fiery, passionate defences of the union, it's hard to see how the no vote would have come in the way that it has. We might not have had this result. This is the Gordon Brown who was derided as Prime Minister, who is derided by David Cameron. David Cameron owes him probably a massive vote of thanks this morning. Apart from a modest unity rally in Trafalgar Square earlier in the week, there had been few demonstrations on the Scotland question in the rest of the United Kingdom. However, those south of the border seemed pleased the 307-year-old union will stay intact. I was delighted when I woke up at five o'clock, put my radio on, and I heard that we were staying as a united kingdom. Did you wake up early just to find out? <laughs> yeah, I had my radio on all night, actually. <laughs> and I kept waking up and listening to it. It was just normal for me, just like 50-50. Uh, it won't make any difference to me. I think they made the right decision. Um, I don't understand what they'd have probably been saying yes to. If he voted yes, what would that have actually meant for Scotland? So, in a way, I'm quite pleased that they stayed with us, yeah. The financial markets also reacted positively, relieved that a protracted period of turbulence and volatility had been avoided. Opinion polls had shown that people in England had overwhelmingly wanted Scotland to remain as part of the United Kingdom. The resounding no vote will be a relief for many. Catherine Drew, CCTV, London.